Let's move on to the fourth round and face the winner of Christina McHale and Kirilenko, which will go on uh, this evening on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. Kirilenko, the 25th seed, and we're set to go here. Sam Stoser to serve. Right away, Petrova using that off backhand. She's much more comfortable on the backhand side. Also has a big first serve. We'll see how much trouble that gives Stoser as the match goes on. Sam gets on the board, 15 all. Kanda, you mentioned that Petrova is prone to uh, mistakes and errors at times. Do those errors come from any particular side? Well, the forehand for Petrova gets a little bit flat. Starts catching that ball a little bit late, so it'll, she'll get a few more or give up a few more unforced errors on that side. Notice in that point, the forehand, one of the last forehands from Petrova just tipped the net. And again, that, that is the side that can get a little bit below margin of error, a little bit low over the net. And that's kind of what she has to be careful of. And the backhand is so solid and she's so comfortable from that side. Couple of breakpoint chances for Nadia Petrova here in the opening game of the match. What time is it? Right yeah. Thank you. Nice recovery by Stoser. Rick, it's been a little bit interesting with Stoser. She's been a bit of a giant killer throughout her career. She has 17 wins over top 10 players, often gets up for those matches and plays well, but sometimes playing against players ranked below her or around the same ranking gives her a little bit more, a few more problems. Powering forehand from Petrova. She breaks in the opening game of this match. And that was an excellent play for Petrova. We spoke about Stoser's abilities as a doubles player. She has some grand slams under her belt, but Petrova as well, very proficient in doubles, comfortable around the net. I would expect her to use that skill a good bit in this match. She has to be aggressive when she opens up the court and she gets Stoser out wide. Not a lot of great results for Nadia through the year. Chanda mentioned she won her 10th uh, title in the Washington, D.C. area, College Park, in July. And uh, did reach the quarterfinal at Cincinnati. Fell in first round action at New Haven last week to uh, Herzog, who she beat in the second round to get to this round. So that's a good sign. And you know, every little bit helps when you're searching for confidence. Forehand down the line by Stoser. And she caught that forehand just a little oh, bit late, but she was able to use her wrist to flick it in. Beautiful shot up the line.
well cooked. And smart plays from Stowe, so she kept the ball low off the slice into the backhand of Petrova. Didn't give her a lot to hit on. Created the air and a slight opportunity here at Love 30. Saw the head to heads a moment ago. The first time these women met was here at the U.S. Open in 2004. Petrova won two and two. of Stoser, that forehand, when she can get around the backhand, she can go either direction, and she's able to disguise where she's going. That's what's so dangerous. Bumping herself up after that point, she now has a chance to break back. Excellent serve by Petrova. Setting up that point. Still a break point. Petrova got up to that ball very quickly. Recognized that she hit a penetrating first serve. It's going to be important for her to move her serve around the box a bit more. Not let Stoser just set up and have the ball in her strike zone. Who does break right back. One all here in the first. Chanda Petrova has been around and been near the top for so long. Her ranking of 30 right now, the, lo the lowest it's been since uh, she was outside the top 100 back in 2002. Does she have the game to get back up in the top 10 or so at this stage of her career? I think she has the ability. She has the strength. She's penetrating from the ground, Petrova. She has a good serve. I think that's the shot that's led her down the most um, this year in particular. She hasn't been able to get the free points off of her serve. Players are able to get on it, get good returns back, and that starts to affect your confidence. Great play from Stoser, and I expect to see her at the net more with volleys like these. This one a little bit high, but she anticipates well. Easy put away. in front in this match early on. I think the biggest difference in Petrova's game from when she was at her the height and her highest ranking, her movement, the serve, I mentioned that, and, and I think her movement has slipped just a bit. And it's tough at 29 years of age when you lose a step or two. Great shot there. She serves at love. For 2-1, we're on serve in the opening set. So her serve becomes more effective and can draw confidence from it. And you're, you make the point with Petrova, it's 
not as strong as it could be or has been and as a result it's led into other parts of her game. And that last serve we just saw is what Petrova used to get her to the top of the game. I mean that down the tee 107 miles per hour. Certainly not her fastest serve but great placement. And a bit of luck always helps. <laughs> <Yes it does. laughs> Looks like both women have settled down here after they broke each other's serve to begin the match. And Stoser keeping the ball, that ball extremely low with the backhand slice. Petrova having to get down. And she's not a short player. Five foot ten. I think she might be taller than that, maybe. Five ten and a quarter. Is that what look at my notes? Wow. <laughs> but I'm sure he <laughs> well, maybe probably it's me. seems taller than that. <laughs> Extra quarter inch. <laughs> I need that extra quarter <laughs> inch, but. <laughs> Stos are doing well to get back here to 30 all. Just caught the side of the line, but certainly worth the challenge. Both women were kind of looking at each other and waiting for some sort of a call. I think Petrova thought it was out. Well, great challenge. So second serve for Petrova. And Stoser just a little bit slow running around that forehand. Ball was too close to her right hip. It created the error. chair on that uh, first serve call. Play the lead on that one. Excellent point from Stozer. And that's some of the tennis we saw when she got to the finals of Roland Garros. She was patient. She worked the court. Again, kept that ball lo low. And the slice is such a weapon when you can follow it up with a forehand like that. Petrova with an opportunity to escape with a hold here. So fast. Well, you can see Petrova really focusing on getting that ball deep in the court. She doesn't want Stoser to be able to step in and dictate. But she cannot let it force her into making errors. Petrova has to stay consistent. 
Six unforced for the Russian. Stoser climbing all over that forehand return. That's, that serve just right in her strike zone. Not good enough. She'll get a look at a second serve here in break point. Petrova misses the shot at net. Another break of serve for Sam Stozer, and she's up a break in this opening set. Well, that was a good sneak play from Petrova. She just didn't execute, took her, took her eye off of that ball. And we can see early in the match, there's a trend in terms of the first serves for Petrova. First serve percentage at 56%, but she's on, only winning 44% of her first serve points, and that is just too low especially for a player like her who's used to getting more points off of her serve. Easy put away for Stozer. Quick reminder, usopen.org is the exclusive online home for point-by-point -point live scoring and real-time stats and draws. Visit the official tournament website, usopen.org. Stoser, just the opposite of, of Petrova on the serve. She's winning 78% of her first serve points. So when she gets that first serve in, for the most part, she's stepping in and getting ahead. She's finding a nice rhythm here. Petrova coming to look for a mark. And she's going to challenge that call. Well, I guess you might as well use them. Well in. Awesome. <laughs> it's just. Might have been looking for that mark on the wrong side of the line. You know, might have given her peace of mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and. Uh, not a very hard serve by any stretch, but perfectly placed, and she consolidates the break for 4 1. That's, of course, a first round match. Well, the folks moving around the grounds, they've seen some great tennis today wherever they've been uh, parking themselves, and a lot of people interested in this one. Finding a seat. Petrova getting up to that ball again nicely. She is not happy with herself at this point. Well, she needs to get things going here, and she absolutely has to hold to have a chance in this set. First ace for her tonight. Coming in, she'd won only six of 16 points on her serve. Oh, and she's just falling over on some of those first serves. Needs much more up and back. <laughs> Has to find a way to keep getting out into the court. Getting her body weight moving forward, whether it's on the serve, whether it's on ground strokes. in a while from Stoser. Well, she had a perfect percentage at the net. She was at 100% until that volley <laughs> missed. <laughs> One of the easiest volleys of the match. That point was setting up very well for her. 
And Petrova takes advantage to hold serve. Well, that's exactly the kind of game Petrova needed here. She held serve fairly comfortably. And now she has a chance to focus on breaking Stozer. Again, has to catch that serve early. And Stozer continues to perform well in her first serve, 83%. She has won her first serve points. And has certainly set the tone for her. Great point from Stoser. From the beginning, she put Petrova on her heels. Petrova was constantly a step behind. Great close. Now this is where that lack of foot speed comes in, Chanda, where she just can't defend like a lot of the top players and it, stay in points. It makes a big difference in the outer edges of the court. And it kind of carries over into some of those returns. She missed the first return on her forehand side. These last two returns, she's just tried to chip it back in. And that's just not going to be good enough over the course of this match. that forehand bursting in front 5-2 here in the first set. Well, we've talked about a number of players during this event who have a chance to win. Serena Williams certainly among the favorites. Maria Sharapova was up there. She went out today in her match. Hey. Victoria Azarenka, somewhat under the radar, but still on people's minds. Vera Zvonareva in consideration, but Stoser has not really been in the forefront since the French Open final. Double fault, and she's really frustrated now. Well, this set is getting away from Petrova in a hurry. Oh! And there's just not enough speed going into that serve. Not getting out into the court with her body or her racket. Solid point to get her back to 30 all. But it's almost as if the arm of Petrova is slowing down on that serve. She's come up with a few good ones, but overall, it's just been pretty lackluster. Her fastest thus far is 111 miles per hour. There's been years where Petrova has been in contention with Venus for being ace leader. Mm -hmm. And you just are seeing none of that tonight. She's fortunate to have a game point, winning the last two points on her second serve. 
spinning him in at around 80 miles an hour. Game of the, the match for Sam Stoser, but she's serving for this first set. Oh, and this last backhand from Petrova really set up that swinging volley. Backhand down the line, her most confident shot. Excellent shot. I mean, that's that angle was unbelievable. She got around that forehand so quickly. And there is just nothing you can do to defend against this. She got that ball up and down in no time. Great racket speed. Very little margin for error, and she didn't miss. Didn't miss there either. Control of the challenge. Right. I guess she did miss. <laughs> it's, it's bound to happen sometimes. Two points away from the set for Stozer. And Petrova has to start using her legs more, whether it's on the low slices that Stozer throws in or on those high serves. So important to get that ground force reaction. Just two straight up, even on that last return. That sets up triple set point. Difficult shot, isn't it, trying to change the direction on that backhand? Well, Petrova got just enough angle off the backhand return, and it is extremely difficult, and you're changing direction over the highest part of the net. That's a Elena Yankovic specialty, isn't it? <laughs> she does that extremely well. Got her to number one in the world. the way you hit a down the line backhand. And Stoser played a good point, set it up pretty well. Thought she had a rally ball, but Petrova just too solid. 18 shots in that rally that offered a little bit of everything in terms of spins and so point still for Stoser. Three of them now are a deuce. A well, couple of loose points from Stoser. First backhand miss at love, at 40 love rather. And then this miss brings it back to deuce. Oh. 
And this is the area where Stozer has to be a little bit more stingy. She can't give away these types of points in the latter stages of games, especially if she looks to compete for the title. if at all, the back service line. And so Petrova on break point challenging here. And this could give her the break to serve if she's right. Barely. <laughs> Barely in. But any part of the line counts. Yes. <laughs> wow, what a turn of events. Well, a big miss from Petrova, an opportunity lost, and she knows it. By the fuzz of the ball, Sozer gets a second serve on the let and gets us back to deuce. Again, just a little anxious on that shot. Stozer, of course, looking to put away this set. But she has to stay calm here. Good first serve, first ball. Give yourself big target areas. Much, much needed ace. First serve, an ace, either one. <laughs> yes, that'll do the job. Second of the match for her. Lights off another break point if she can settle down here. She was cruising at 5-2 and looking sharp and has gotten a little tight last couple of games. Well, the momentum has changed just a bit, even though Stozer is still up in this set. She's given away a bit of her advantage. She's made this game much tougher than it had to be. Gave up a couple of easy errors on Petrova's serve. All of a sudden, Petrova has some additional confidence. Petrova able to get the break. We're back on serve. Trails 4-5. Night falls on the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Now that folks have been able to get into New York, get settled and head out to the tennis center, the crowds have been uh, very impressive here the past couple of days. Travel from wherever you were coming. <laughs> Difficult for the first couple of days. Well, you're just lucky to get into New York. I was supposed to be in Sunday and didn't get in until Tuesday. Oh my gosh. And it wasn't easy, it wasn't straightforward. <laughs> we'll have to compare notes later. <laughs> Everyone's got a story. Probably by about 12 hours. <laughs> well, Petrova now really feeling her range. Looking so much more positive than she did a couple of games ago.
Scherzer wants to go back to that earlier formula that was working for with a slice backhand to set something up, but missing there. Well, Stoser has to be a bit careful that she doesn't get defensive with that slice. She still needs to keep it as an offensive shot, use it to set up her other shots like the forehand. Bit of a better point from Stoser. She was a bit more authoritative, got the balls deeper in the court, and she hit out on those last few backhands. Beautiful backhand. And that's the shot that got Petrova into the top 10. Got her to three in the world. She steps into that shot, extends her racket out into the court. Just as it looks like she's pulling even here. Still has a game point. Second double fault. Excellent play, showcasing some of her double skills. Petrova moves in, cuts this ball off after the penetrating off forehand. Gets up just in time. And now it's anybody's set after it seemed to belong to Sam Stoser. Well, it's just a stretch run to the finish now. Stoser lost the momentum that she had, has to regroup. Focus on winning her serve here. Was out and Petrova's challenging. She wanted that one badly on a terrific forehand, but it just missed the mark. A bit of fortune for Stoser. She had no chance to get to that forehand down the line. Petrova, no challenges left unless they go to a tiebreaker. She gets just the one. And another poor miss for Stoser. She did not have to make that ball so good. Could have given herself a little more court to hit into. And she's becoming a little impatient with herself. You can see the nerves are still there. She just yeah. hasn't relaxed.
that's why it's so dangerous to let Petrova get into this match. She has so much ability to hit deep into the court. She can close off and take balls at the net. And she's a quality player who has experience at the top of the game. trying to pump herself up. Well, that was the perfect point, just what she needed. Seems so simple, but got that first serve in with great placement, which set up the forehand. Big, big point coming up at 30 all, five all. Stoser still struggling just a bit on her serve. It's her first double fault. Petrova, another break point. The first serve percentage for Stoser has picked up. There's just not enough rhythm on the serve, continuous rhythm. She's still sputtering. Yeah. Right down the tee with the ace. Great time for that for Stoser. A perfect timing. I guess sputtering isn't really a technical word, but that's what she wants. She just wants to pepper the court with first serves, a lot of balls, making Petrova play at this important stage of the match. That's ruled out. Petrova cannot challenge. If she wanted to, she's out of challenges until a potential tie break. Oh, and Stoser makes her way up to the net, was so solid on the overhead, which created that error from Petrova. Call was good. Stoser survives. Adding off break points to lead 6 5. And Petrova respond. position well, that, advantage. that down the line shot is so deadly it cuts off the court and it gives the opponent so little time to catch up to the ball really trying to get behind these players. They want to continue to see a competitive match. Looked for a while like we weren't going to get one. And Stoser was off and running at 5-2, but looks like we will be here for a while if things continue like this. Oh, it's pretty much what we expected at the start. Well, a tiebreaker is looking very likely. Certainly, stranger things have happened in this match. With Stozer being up and losing her serve. Oh, 
Hopefully we don't see that same trend here back and forth. No. Petrova has done well to get back on serve and to get up in, in this game. Needs to consolidate. Looks like that forehand was going out for a moment. Solid point from both players, but Stoes are able to hook it in just at the last moment. Got a little extra spin on it. survives and we do head for a first set tie break six all well, that's a disappointing way for Stozer to end the game after such a great shot the previous point dump that return into the net it's nice to get that bird's eye view yes it is <laughs> here in the city well, somewhat in the city. <laughs> Those who jumps out in front. Well, in, in this tiebreaker, the serve is going to become even more important than it's been during this first set. First strike opportunities will determine who wins this tiebreaker. Oh. Let's serve at 112, nearly her fastest. Tied up Petrova, or Stozer, I should say. the shot that Stozer has perfected. Got her to the top 10 in the world. Set it up with the slice backhand, just hooks that forehand. She gets tremendous spin and racket head speed. Up the mini break. Backhand has not been quite as solid for Stoser. She's hit quite a few of them short in the court and took her eye off of that last one. Disappointing point for Petrova. She's been so good about not giving up easy errors. She's making Stoser play. And that was an opportunity for her. But still on serve in this tiebreaker. Turn. 
Well, we'll see how relaxed Joser stays on this return. Has the mini break. Has a chance to get a second mini break, and that would really take more pressure off of her service points. Well, she had the chance. Obviously, great opportunity to win this uh, first set, and wouldn't settle down to get the job done. Left the door open for Petrova, and here we are in the first set tiebreak. Stoser opened the door for Petrova, and to Petrova's credit, she stepped right in. And she has played better and better as the set has gone on. She's raised her first serve percentage. She's winning more points on her first serve. Though she's still down a mini break. And a lot of credit goes to her because she was not happy with her level of play at all prior to getting the opportunity. And she still was able to take advantage of it. Work things up in a hurry. Oh, look out. Well, she just totally mishit that serve, and what a terrible time for a double fault. Trying to go for the kick serve and just clips it at the top of the racket. tie break. Those are challenging, feeling that that uh, shot was long and stopped play on. It sounds like the call was made and then a correction was made. Okay. And then Stoser challenged. Well, the call goes against her. But now Stoser is complaining because the ball was originally called out and then corrected. So she's saying they should play two and it should still be four all. She obviously miss hit the shot and with the call right there of uh, Long, that could certainly tell you why. Well, the umpire said it was a late call. So Stoser had already missed the ball and the call was made. Okay. So they do not play two. Wow, big call. Huge call. Trova can serve it out here, which could represent a tremendous change of events. And that was an extremely important point for Stozer to win. She was up 4 2, lost three points in a row. So she needed to get a little bit of momentum back and stop that tide from Petrova. Now she may develop a bit of a us against the world mentality too. Might get her mind off her nerves. Maybe so. Maybe that's what she needs to relax. Missed by Petrova there. And Stozer has his first set on her racket once again. Well, Petrova has to be disappointing losing both points on her serve. Stozer needs a first serve here. And there it is. She 
emerges with a hard fought first set in the tie break. 7 6. Excellent serve. Second serve ace, her second ace of this match. The stats for this match for winners versus unforced errors has been very interesting. Players are pretty even on unforced errors. First set, Petrova with 19, Stozer with 17, but the winners, Petrova has, I'm sorry, Stozer has so many more winners than Petrova. 22 to 12 in that first set, and it was still a very tightly contested set. Great feel, excellent hands. And she stepped in and hit this drop shot at the right time where she was moving forward into the court. Talking about those winners versus errors, I think at one point first uh, set, Stozer had 15 winners against only five errors. And since then, it's uh, been 13 errors versus eight winners, including that one on the drop shot. But uh, Petrova able to hold. She's put that first set in her rear view mirror and gets off on the right foot here. Well, I think the difference between the winners from these two players with Stoser having so many more winners with a similar amount of unforced errors, that tells me that Stoser is not playing the bigger points as well and add points. She's giving up errors at those times as opposed to some less important times of the match. Hasn't that, you know, as she has made great strides in her in her game to, to get a ranking where it is, but has it kind of held her back in, in uh, That's, key points? That has, I think, been, the, been what has held her back at some key times. You know, the unforced errors and when she makes them. Her serve, as we mentioned earlier, has helped get her through a lot of big matches. Certainly last year, going into the beginning of this year, she could rely on that, that serve a lot to get free points. But she's been sputtering still in this match. 68% first serves. And that's a pretty good percentage. But again, when it's time to make more first serves in the key times of the match, she's giving up a lot of second serves. She's thrown in some double faults at those times. Ladies and gentlemen, for the, for the ball players, please do, do not lose any flash for the ball. Thank you. Petrova asking the umpire to warn the crowd to stop using flashes. It's very disruptive at night for the players. And that's primetime New York, though. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully the crowd listens. <laughs> Obviously, New York's uh, 
crowds have the reputation of being loud, boisterous. Is there anything that sets apart the crowd maybe at Roland Garros? I think it's just a different energy that you get here in New York. Is there anything but unique about I each with, setting for a slam in terms of the fans? I think with Roland, Ge Roland Garros, you still get a sense, though, of the history and um, think of the right word. <laughs> Second. But it's almost like a certain reverence, which, you know, you also get that feel at Wimbledon. But for me, in Ro at Roland Garros, you know, I just felt that a bit more with the court and the way it's set up. Even though it's a huge stadium, it's still an intimate feel, and the crowd really gets into it. I mean, you know they love their tennis. They're knowledgeable about tennis. And it's just a great crowd to play in front of in Paris. And an ace to finish it off. Each woman is held serve to start this second oh, set. Second. Oh, and Stoser, again, as she did finish the first set, getting that serve in deep into the court, great placement. And that takes a lot of pressure off of her and allows her to get into her points. And we're talking about the crowds at Roland Garros and here in New York. I, I have the feeling that the crowd hasn't really been able to get fully into this match, though, because it's been so many stops and starts. And has it been quite as consistent? One player will get up, then the other player will, will get up. The crowd almost doesn't know what to expect from one game to the next. Both players. Four aces with two double faults. Excellent serve there by Petrova. Quickly 40 love. How about the fans in Australia of the Open? I love Australia. That's one of my favorite events as well. Just fun loving fans. I mean, yeah. they, they come, stay all day. Just want to see good tennis. Good depth on that return. Forced Petrova back into the court. Stozer could use a few more of those types of returns here. Gets the hold. Ron serve here in the second. First set to Samantha Stozer. And it's 2 1 Petrova here in the second. Two balls for Stozer to serve with. Stoser just needs high energy here. She got through that first set, squeaked out the win. Needs to continue to hold. You, you get the sense that Stozer knows what she wants to do tactically. That serve out to the forehand, steps around, and tries to get around her forehand. She's just not able to do it consistently at times. Then 
tremendous pass by Petrova. Great passing shot. Stozer ran through this approach, though, so she couldn't get set up. Gave Petrova the opportunity to go behind her. Snuck that inside the baseline. Well, she, point for Stozer. She got just enough spin to bring that ball down. Still rushing just a bit because she's not getting set up quickly. Just a little late on some of those shots. Well, she served the tour on a tee there. Well, just too defensive from Stoser. She's up. It's game point for her. No situations. You want to keep hitting. You want to go with your strength. She chose to go with the little short slice. Petrova has slowly raised the percentage of points that she's won at the net. 67% now for the match. how you take the offensive instead of settling for a backhand. Stoser hits this slice and Petrova does well to get around it. From what looked like an easy hold, a break point chance for Petrova. Well, this just set up too much. Well, Nadia's got a whole new set of challenges to squander <laughs> with a new set. Well, she ran out of challenges fairly early in that first set, and she's starting fresh now. They're burning a hole in her pocket, said, apparently. I have to use them. <laughs> You can see when the Petrova went to hit that backhand, Stoser was actually trying to cheat over to her backhand side, and she just got wrong-footed there after the serve. find a way to hold serve. Petrova two of eight now at break points. Those are goes behind her. Petrova in no position to change direction. Now it's uh, Stozer with a game point. And this was a smart play. Instead of trying to go for the riskier shot up the line, Stozer gets some air under that forehand, gets a lot of spin on it, and hits a safe shot. And serves her way out of trouble. Gets that hold for two all. And that is part of the improved confidence from Samantha Stozer. She's been able to pull herself out of some tough games. Visit usopen.org, your exclusive online home for real-time scores and stats, daily video highlights, and press conferences, official US Open merchandise, and much more. The official tournament website, usopen.org. Well, I've been on USOpen.org so much, I'm losing battery power every day. <laughs> For the end of the evening, my battery's dead. Got to stay up to the minute. <laughs> Have to. 
It's a great sight, live scoring. Match statistics. Get in depth in any match you want. Oh. And the schedule as well, that's been extremely helpful. Good start here in this service game for Petrova. Too bad. Sozer trying to get around that forehand. Really didn't have anywhere to go. Went for the shot up the middle. Just missed it long. And I think that's what's frustrating to watch about this match. I mean, we'll see a couple of good points, and then all of a sudden we'll see an, a huge error from one player or the other. Where where they'll miss by a couple of feet. It's just hard to get a rhythm that way. Yeah, in another case here, uh, not a difficult ball to handle. Just an easy slice into the net. I mean, a slice is not a shot that should be quite that fine. Needs a little more air under the ball. <laughs> now Petrova just chose the wrong shot. She had the open court down the line, chose to try to go back behind oh, Stoser. Yeah. But didn't Stoser do well to retrieve these last sh couple of shots? Not good hands in the crowd. <laughs> Again, just an easy miss. That ball was up the middle of the court. Didn't have a lot of pace on it. Petrova just stopped moving her feet. Lost a couple of big opportunities. Almost an exact replay, just missed on the other side of the court. Slightly longer rally. But still, both players just fencing for position. There's no way to try to hit that ball so close to the line. That was never going to be a winner. It's those who are trying to burst in front here with a break of serve in the second set. Excellent first serve. And she answered the bell on that one. Well, she placed it perfectly. Stozer was looking to possibly run around and get another forehand. the other to step up and try to take charge of this match and neither has been able to do it.
disappointing miss. Petrova had set that point up beautifully, had done all of the work, and missed one of the easier shots. I mean, this was a great get. She got herself back into the point. And there was her advantage. Those are another break point well earned from her side of the net with her retrieving skills. Petrova taking longer and longer on these serves. And that was certainly worth the time she took. Out wide, good pace, 108 miles per hour. Gets her back to deuce. She might just try to lull Stozer to sleep, taking so much time. Third double fault. And gives Stozer yet another chance to break in front here in the second. That story of this match turning ugly in many categories. Break points among them, two of five for Stozer. Yeah. Double fault, and that gives the break point chance to Sam Stozer. She's up a break here in the second set. The maddening trends of this match continue. So we're still waiting to see the best of Nadia Petrova. She'd better find it. And again, one of those easy misses. But Stozer is not an easy player to play, to Nadia's credit. As we see the 10 unforced errors in this second set for Petrova. Stoser gives you a lot of different paces. She can mix up her spins. She can throw in the slice and then run around and hit the forehand. She gets a lot of spin and a lot of action on her shots. Some balls are a little bit higher and it's more difficult to get into a rhythm against that kind of player. But three straight errors from Petrova here not the way she wanted to start returning. Well done by Stozer. Heaven forbid a Hold it, love. Well, that was one of the <laughs> cleanest games, one of the cleanest service games we've seen in a while from either player. Stoser winning at love. And have we'll, not seen one of those. Well, we'll see if it carries over into this return game. Has not found her rhythm on the returns. Hasn't made four straight return returns, Stoser. And we won't see it happen in this game, perhaps. Starting out with the miss into the net.
contest the edges of the court on numerous occasions in that point. Oh, they were just painting the lines. A couple of miss hits thrown in for good measure, a net cord. That's been our night so far. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Up 30 love, now 30 all. Well, and that seems to be a carryover from the last game where she made four errors. Allowed Stoser to hold. Needs to clean up those unforced errors. Chanda, you made the point right off the bat tonight about uh, it's that forehand side that can get away from her. Big point, puts herself in position to hold here. Petrova emerges with the service hold. Still down a break in the second set. So something to build for here if she can close out this match and stay on serve. And give her something to build on for the next round as the fourth round lurks. And the way to start just being more consistent is to concentrate on the basics of the game. First serve if you're serving. First ball if the, your opponent gets the serve back. It's just perfect what Stoser did there. And she has an opportunity winning the first two points of this game. I mean, that's where you take pressure off of yourself and you allow yourself to relax and get into a match. It allows your game to open up. You can put together a string of points. Excellent defense from Stoser. Petrova painting that baseline. Stoser did well to get that ball back. Now that's something that she can look back on in this match if she goes on to win and, and say, I really helped myself turn this thing around with some excellent defensive play. Well, this is seven straight points on the Stoser serve. She won at love in the last game, and she's followed it up beautifully. In the last service game, rather. Brave drop shot on the forehand side. Showed a lot of feel on that shot. Most people would try to drop shot off the backhand a lot easier. She just gets beautiful spin. In these situations, Chanda, can she, and anyone, where you're struggling to close out a set or, or at crunch time, do you overthink the situation maybe from a strategy standpoint? Maybe try to do a lot more than you really need to do. This is when you simplify. Simplify, simplify. 
can you stick to the basics of the, of the game? And Stoser here hasn't really done anything spectacular. She has just made a lot of balls. She's been very methodical in what she's trying to do. And she's made Petrova make the errors first. And it really started with the first serve of Stoser. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of first serves in these last two service games. Makes a huge difference. Was it a case where as, as well as she was serving through uh, many of the early games in that first set, in her, her mind it became not good enough and I need to do a little bit more with that serve rather than just concentrate on, on continuing on? Well, that and you just lose a little bit of your concentration. You start pressing in the wrong ways. And he's by Petrova. She's not out of the woods yet. Well, That's perfect, perfectly placed wide serve and that's what Petrova needs to keep concentrating on, moving her serve around the box. And Petrova's got to tell herself at this point, hey, I've been in this spot not too long ago and had chances to survive. Well, Petrova's an experienced player. She's been in these situations a lot. She won't just quit. Stoser will have to beat her in the end. And it's just a few of those shots that has put Petrova in this situation. It's not allowed her to maximize her opportunity to win this match. A few unforced errors at some key times. Petrova <laughs> gets the hold, hanging in there. Down a break at 5-4, and Stozer set the serve for the match. And you can just see the difference. I mean, the first point, and you certainly don't want to nitpick here. I mean, it's tougher than it seems, but that second serve, you could see how sluggish her footwork got, and that's what caused that error, that miss hit. off and when you are a little tight out there and you're trying to close out a match attacking is the best way to go especially when you can volley like this I should love to find a first serve wouldn't that be nice for three. So you can just feel the tension. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's such a contrast to the last two service games from Stoser where she had good rhythm, she made first serves. It seemed like it was so easy, but it was because she was doing the basics.
Badly missed forehand there. You could see before this point began, the shot of Petrova, her eyes were lighting up. She could sense trouble at the other side. Well, the arm and the racket of Stoser just like bricks. Just did not get enough speed. Tried to hit that ball too hard. Good try from Petrova. It was the right play. She moved forward. Didn't get quite enough. And that second to last volley gave Stoser another chance. Still one more break point. Now you're talking to herself. She certainly responded a number of times in that first set to prolong it to a, a tie break. There. That's one area that Stoser has been so solid in. And that overhead, that's one of her better shots, and she makes no mistake about this one. And the footwork, she kept moving, took a couple of little steps at the end, put her in great position. Couple of first serves in a row now, and it gives her the match point. And what a change in fortunes from 15-40 down now to her first match point. Can she stay relaxed? Just an excellent point from Petrova. Yes. Now it's just a matter of nerve out there. Which player can put together two solid points in a row to take this game? That's an interesting question. What we've seen. Go for that backhand up the line over the highest part of the net. Both players were fencing for position. Stoser goes from neutral to offense in a heartbeat. Just perfect. And she knows it. And she's found a little rhythm here on this first serve. Second match point for her. comeback from Petrova. I mean, you would have thought she lost that point a couple of times. She managed to not only get in position and get the ball back, but then turn around and take control. How bad does she want it? From corner to corner and not her strength. Well, these are some of the best points of the match coming here right at the end. P potentially the end, I should say. Not with returns like that. <laughs> Petrova is not ready to go home. Took that ball early, anticipated. And that angle just too sharp for Stoser. And not leaving anything in the bag here.
Petrova. Able to get the break for five all here in the second set. Converting on the third of 11 break point opportunities in this match. Well, saved match points. And Sosa played a pretty clean game. She didn't do anything wrong. Petrova just came up with shots when she needed to. Has to be disappointing, but that's what you want to make a player do. If they're going to win, if they're going to break your serve, you want to make them come up with something. I think Petrova willed herself to that game. Tremendous determination. And she made the shots. And it's almost as if Petrova needs the pressure <laughs> to really play at her max. Really keep that intensity level up. But she needs to do so here and hold serve. Consolidate after breaking. Is the issue comes right back. Well, I've had a number of conversations, been coached in Fed Cup by the great Billie Jean King, and she always used to say it's not a break until you consolidate and win your serve. Petrova, a late start with her best stuff, but it's on display now. It certainly is, and quick movement getting up to this ball. No chance for Stoser to get a read on it. points for Petrova. Those are the kind of points that Stozer just has to keep playing. Petrova has come up with some excellent shots. Winners that were just too good to break serve in that last game. Stozer has to stay mentally tough, has to keep herself calm and stay aggressive, but within herself. Old serve for 6-5 here in the second. For the first time in the match, you get the feeling she's taking charge. She absolutely, Petrova, has taken charge in this match. Here at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. That was a tricky point. Stozer did extremely well to get that overhead back. She really had to hustle to get her feet under the ball. So important for her to win these first two points. Thank 
And getting these first couple of points just allows Stoser to settle in a bit more. Instead of letting the game get tight early on, or even worse, getting down in that game, allows her to relax even more. Just a solid, excellent forehand. That's a shot she's sort of been searching for as this match has gone on, Petrova. It could be your best friend. It could be your worst enemy. <laughs> Stoser just pressing a little too much, trying to force getting around that forehand. She was so far on the left side of the court. She gave up a huge opening and tried to make that forehand much too fine. are not really expecting to come in on that shot. But a short ball from Petrova forced her in. Did well to get up to that slice. Forced Petrova to hit a difficult pass. We're point away from another tie break. Petrova just took that return early, redirected it, had a short backswing. And that ball was back on Stoser almost before she came out of her serve. a number of those and that has to be so disappointing she played a great point Petrova just let this ball drop a little too much made it a more difficult shot than it needed to be Brings us to another tie break. Another high wire act, but we're there. Well, regardless of how we got here, this has been a very hard fought competitive match. Neither player has wanted to give up easily. You normally expect to see a lot of serves being held, and that's normally why you get to a tiebreaker, but here we've seen everything number of breaks, but when it counted, both players have been able to hold. Three service breaks on each side. Hey. This match has entered into its third hour.
Petrova able to get the early advantage here with the mini break. And what a change from their previous five meetings between these two players. No Absolutely. set has gone beyond 6-4, and that happened only once. And they've pretty much been runaways. Great point. Can't get any closer than what we've had here tonight. You can if there's a third set and it goes 7-6. <laughs> <goes seven, six. laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> well, anything can happen here. These players are so evenly matched tonight. Slightly different styles. But so close. Stoser can occasionally give up some miss hits. She has a lot of racket head speed, gets a lot of spin on her shots, but sometimes if she catches the edge of the racket frame, you'll get a miss hit like that. Great chance for Petrova. Takes advantage of it for 4-1. And this is when Petrova is at her best. She's taking that ball early, stepping into the court. She was on top of the baseline and just waiting for the reply. set up that point. And Stoser stayed so calm, set up by an excellent kick serve out wide, but this could have been a difficult shot already, tipping the net. Got a little bit low with it, but had just enough spin. And this is a nerve-wracking time. Most of it between the ears now about which player can stay most settled here, can put together a string of points. It's all about handling the nerves, taking pressure off of yourself. And that is a perfect way to release pressure. Huge first serve. Forces the air. Puts the pressure back on the Petrova racket, but she's still up a mini break. Her lead. Where was this tennis earlier? <laughs> this is just perfect. One two punch. Can't get a first serve better than that. No mistake about that forehand. <laughs> just so excited <laughs> to see this good tennis. We're going to see a close match. Let's see it at this level, not the level we were seeing earlier. Petrova now at 6-3. Set points. Send this, this to a third. Well, this is the first time that Petrova has gotten up in a set. Yes. We think about the whole match. Now with a set point.
Dozer nearly dug herself out of a 1-4 hole. Let's see what she can do here with second set on the line. Extremely well played, solid points. Aggressive on that first set point. And again, the big first serve gets her out of trouble again. But Petrova still with one more set point. Petrova captures the second set. 7-5 seven, seven, in the tie break. Takes a long look at that one. She'll accept the call, it appears. Oh. That looked like the first set. And that's the one area that Petrova can improve upon in this match, in this third set. There's still times where she gives up that easy air after she's played a hard fought game and it sets her back. Yeah. Oh. What's most upsetting to her is the fact that Stozer hasn't drawn a, a lot of these errors. I mean, she has to a certain extent, but certainly not a, a majority of them. She's just donated many points. That's one of the best passing shots that Stoser has hit. Petrova didn't do quite enough with this approach and didn't close off the line. Petro and Stoser took full advantage. Following that serve to the net, couple of game points. Well, we saw earlier in a couple of those stats that the longer the point goes, the better Petrova plays, and the more points that Petrova wins. Stoser has to keep being aggressive. Try to shorten some of these points. It was in. There was no call of out, but uh, obviously from the chair. And Stoes are correct. Well, not a good overrule from the chair. Oh, Hate when that happens. <laughs> Stozer gets the hold. Let's see if this ignites her uh, momentum here as it did at the end of that uh, first set tie break, overcoming a call from the chair. Have a look at the set two summary. Well, surf, first serve percentage pretty good from both players. Fairly even. Unforced errors. Petrova with a few more in that second set, but more winners, 15 to 11 from Stoser. And a few of those key winners came when Stoser had match points. One of those forehands going awry. Oh. 
Right. Second. Second. Well, a bit of a bluff on that approach shot from Stoser. She was not in great position, did not get enough behind this approach, and she was so far back in the court. There's no way she could catch up with that down the line. And again, there's just no reason for an error like that. It's well wide of the court. She picked the most difficult shot, the backhand down the line on her back foot. Petrova spent much of this match responding to Stozer errors by compounding them with her own, but now she's punishing those errors by Stozer and has really found a nice level of play. Well, Petrova has to be feeling pretty confident now. She has new life all of a sudden in this match. Four aces for Stozer. High percentage of first serve points one. Great retrieving from Petrova. Stoser took a very difficult backhand overhead, hit a nice shot off of it, but Petrova just did her one better. This is just about who will blink first. Yes, indeed. And that serve, once again, getting Stoser out of trouble, giving her a couple of easier points. And that's why she's won such a high percentage of points on her first serve. Easy points always welcomed. this match goes, similar to some of the points, longer the match goes, the more it feels as if it's in Petrova's favor. I mean, Stoser has had a number of opportunities. She's been up the whole match, hasn't really been able to consolidate. I mean, it will be a great effort for Stoser to still pull this match out. But she has a lot to look at improving. And you only get so many opportunities 
And a player of Petrova's caliber is going to make you pay if you don't take advantage sooner or later. Reduce now, having watched the Stozer Vandaway match, didn't have a great quality of, of play going in that one against the 19 year old American woman, but her resiliency really, I think, was the difference in experience toward the end. Well, that resiliency is going to be tested again here in this third set. When she has certainly been resilient in this match, already with three unforced errors in this third set. She's come back after some bad errors, some bad games, Stoser, and she's fought through. But this is a different type of player against Petrova. Petrova knows how to win big matches. So it's dangerous to give her more and more opportunities. Petrova showing a bit of muscle. <laughs> Keeping well, it light out there. <laughs> feeling much better about herself <laughs> than, uh, say, an hour or so ago. <laughs> nice gun there. <laughs> Early opportunity for her. And that ball got away from Petrova just a little bit. And that's a result of the spin that Stoser puts on her shots. Ball can get up and out of your strike zone. Stozer talking to herself. After another error, gives Petrova a break point. Chance to go up 2-1 early here in this third set. To her with the double fault. Petrova jogging to her chair. Up a break in the third. Feeling good about life. Petrova in the driver's seat. Keep in mind there is an ejection button. <laughs> the way this is going. Don't get too comfortable. And we just wonder why their previous meetings have been so one-sided. I mean, it looks like their games match up very well. Petrova able to be aggressive here. Very comfortable at the net. I think that speaks to the growth of Stozer's game, where Petrova, as we talked about, ranked highly for many, many years. Stozer now just coming into a prime where she might not have been a match for Petrova earlier on. And of course, their meetings dating back to the Open right here in 2004. Stozer's win in the head to heads came this summer. You're absolutely correct. I mean, these players have been in somewhat op opposite trajectories over the last year and a half, with Stoser's game being at its highest level beginning of this year and last year with her showing at the French Open. Very confident hold by Nadia Petrova. Stoser's got to figure out a way. 
Well, Stoser made it to the quarterfinals here last year, her best result here at the U.S. Open. And she is trying to equal that result minimally, but has to win tonight. USOpen.org is your premier source for video coverage of the U.S. Open, including exclusive match highlights, analysis, press conferences, and behind-the-scenes coverage throughout the tournament. The official tournament website, USOpen.org. We've been talking about the stats quite a bit from this match. You can see all of those stats on USOpen.org. Follow along. Point by point. And Stoser in some real trouble here. Petrova with all the momentum. Now it's important for Stoser to hold. Stay in this set. Petrova likes to roll over that forehand, and she was misfiring early in the match, and she had missed a lot lately. But, uh, didn't find the target there. Petrova hits the ball pretty flat, and she has been most successful with the down-the-line forehands. Hits somewhat across the ball. She's able to shorten up her backswing, really redirect some of the shots. Very solid from the Russian. And now, I mean, they've just completely changed. It's almost opposite, you know, positions they're both in now. And we'll see Petrova handles it a bit better than Stoser did. Stoser to finish that game off. The fifth ace of the match. She's still down a break here in this deciding set. Excellent start to this game from Stoser. She did well to get the serve back in play. Didn't go for too much, set up the point. Was aggressive just when she needed to be with that forehand. Perfect timing. Just the approach she needs to have in this situation. That's the ability that Petrova has that we we're just speaking about. Great placement, good speed on that serve. And again, after such a, a great first point from Stoser, it's negated by two big first serves from Petrova. Seven aces for.
Solid, solid point from Stoser. She stayed patient. Petrova was very elastic in that point. When she was pulled wide and deep into the court, she got back quickly, closed off the middle. But Stoser kept the pressure on her. Just feel how important that point was. Both players raising the level of their game, but most noticeably Petrova. She has really come alive. Responding well to the urgency here to maintain her edge as we get closer to the finish line. Stoser showing just why she was able to get to a Grand Slam final. Yes. Quick off the ball, got all over this forehand. back and forth games, but the quality of play I think makes this uh, the more appealing type of uh, hotly contested game. Well, it seems that from near the end of that second set, the quality just picked up by leaps and bounds. Petrova with the hold. Seemingly sturdy 4-2 lead in this deciding set. Up a break. And it's important for Stoser now to just concentrate on continuing to hold serve. Don't get any further out than that. And that starts with first serves and first balls and the first two points of this game. Herculean effort from Petrova. She wants this match. The excellent feel from the Stosa racket. Yeah, you could question maybe the, the level of play on both sides of the net at times, but you cannot question the, uh, the effort and the will. Nothing left out there after this. Well, this is the kind of play we might have expected to see from the beginning of the match. I mean, these are both top players. Stoser in the top 10 now. Petrova, a former perennial top 10. It's been a bit late in coming, but they are here to play. Well, that's just what she needed, a uh, hold at love. Stay within hailing distance. Right down a break as we enter the late stages of this third set. Hey. 
Well, regardless of who wins this match, the winner will have a nice rest tomorrow. They'll be able to come out, maybe have a practice. Certainly should be feeling good about their game and able to build on a match like this and the high quality of tennis that's being played in the latter stages. Continue to pound away at the back end. And Petrova just showing a little more nerve in that point. Stoser got a little bit tight. Backhand slice halfway into the net. City here has just kicked up a notch. This is a big game for Petrova to hold. Bad error from Petrova. We haven't seen that in a while. And usually the longer rallies are to her advantage. Sign of a few nerves creeping in for the Russian. Ball seemed to just catch the line. And Stozer is going to challenge. No, oh, it's a good challenge. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Can't take him with you. And it was right square on the line. Oh, and it just gives her peace of mind. Stozer. That shot was just too good. Right into our lens. Petrova trying to take a big step toward winning this match. It's just all about the competition. Petrova was trying to keep her trapped in that corner on the back end. Is as much do you think that she feels she can draw the air from there or just to stay away from the Stozer forehand? Well, I think she likes that forehand up the line. That's more comfortable for her, for Petrova. 
and she also wanted to prevent Stoser from running around and hitting that forehand. response from Stoser, emphatically aggressive, steps in and makes no mistake about this backhand. This is what she wanted. Stoser, slightly better break point percentage. Petrova has done a lot in this set to change that number. And Stoser has gotten a lot of opportunities to break. But in this set, Petrova has been so much more solid, so much more consistent. I've got her for one of her last four break point chances, including that one. So Petrova has uh, been able to defend her serve a little bit better. the danger. Stoser getting around that forehand and you just can't tell where she's going to hit the ball. She's able to set up, close those shoulders and disguise it. And she's ready for the next ball. Excellently placed serve. Gets that break. Back on serve here in the deciding set for all. Did we possibly think it wasn't going to go to another tiebreaker? <laughs> How silly of us. How could we? <laughs> Do we have any more unseen twists and turns left? I think there's a few more in the bag. Set's been its own adventure, that's for sure. Well, one thing you can say is that both players have competed well throughout this match. The tennis always has not always been quite as good. The level has certainly improved in this last set, but they have competed extremely well. Bit ambitious from Stoser. It was not a good drop Thank shot. Petrova was not far enough back in the court for this shot to be effective. She gets up in plenty of time. 
Petrova may not be the best mover around, but uh, she's so shown tonight that if you don't make a, a good drop shot or an approach, she's going to burn you. When that drop shot bounced for the second time, almost at the service line, so it just was not good enough. 15, heavy. And those last two points, an indicator that Stoser is pressing just a little more than she needs to. That drop shot was a forced play, and then the forehand miss out wide. Slight opening for Petrova again on the Stoser serve. Big return and missed. Petrova trying to make something happen there. Well, this serve from Stoser got up out of her strike zone and kicked out a little more than Petrova was expecting. Just money. She has been taking those openings all night. 30, 40. Opens up the court wide to the Stoser backhand and then slams her backhand up the line. Well, trying to get us right back to a uh, break situation where she can serve for this match. Those are reaching back. I just don't see how we can possibly go home without another tiebreaker. I, mean, I would be tremendously disappointed. Another big serve. just at 108, but certainly big in terms of perfectly placed. Yeah. Sam Stozer, three of her better serves consecutively we've seen in this match, and it comes at a great time for her. And she comes back to hold, fights off a break point, 5-4 in the third. And now Stoser can concentrate on trying to break the Petrova serve. She held serve, which was what she needed to do, Stoser. So good, solid first return here. And that's the goal. the kind of miss that Stoser does not need in this game. I mean, that shot again had no chance of, of making it into the court. Well wide. Mistake like that in quite a while. That's her uh, fifth double fault. And one of the worst times for Petrova to double fault. And again, this is very tight part of the match. Both players feeling the pressure. Oh. 
And Stoes are letting loose with the typical tennis player's lament. Hit it. Meaning, of course, don't hold back. Don't well, be so tight. Well, this is a time to be aggressive, though. Stoser is up. In the, in the set and in the match. And that is a much better point. When a player is up in the match, they want to be aggressive. They want to be moving forward, even if it's just hitting the ball big and up the middle of the court. You do not want to give your opponent the impression that you're defensive or that you're uncertain. That is a huge return. Well, as we've seen a couple of times tonight, you don't want to make Sam Stozer mad. And in this occasion, <laughs> she's mad at herself and once again takes it out of the ball. Well, ever since she told herself to hit it, she has done exactly that. And she is rewarded with another match point. Chair umpire spurred her on on a couple of occasions earlier. She responds with great tennis. This is trouble. Oh. And that second serve at 80 miles per hour, and Stoser could not take advantage of it. Overplayed that last shot. On Petrova's shot, I thought I overheard someone saying out <laughs> from the crowd which is the last thing you want. <laughs> Wishful thinking there. Yes, we're obviously wrong, but you don't want to have that. Had it been louder, they might have ended up playing a let at that point, a match point. Another big forehand from Stoser. Coming up with the shots she need at the right time. Yep, second match point in this game and fourth. Remember she had two in the second set. Filled point. It seemed as if Stoser had that point won once that ball hit the net, but Petrova closed. Was able to save the point and clinch it with that overhead. The gasp from the crowd <laughs> on that ball that caught the tape and hung in the air was uh, was audible. I mean, like a cat with nine lives, she just hangs in there. Petrova, back to Deuce. Oh, 
Well, she got the shot she wanted and missed. Well, Petrova put a lot of air under that ball. Made Stoser think just a little bit. Tried to get too much on it. Smart play. survival right now. Nadia Petrova has done just that, staring down a couple of match points. Hold serve for five all. And Stoser has to be wondering, what do I have to do to win this match? One point. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get over the <laughs> ball that just hung in the air for it seemed like five seconds. Dropped in. Almost started the point all over again, but you still thought Stoser was in a winning position. And yep. Petrova somehow guessed correctly, closed beautifully, and she is still in this match. Thank you. Well, the folks who have hung around for the end of this one have seen quite a performance in this third set. Response from Stoser. First point on her serve. She stays aggressive. Able to put that last game behind her. That is excellent playing. Great response. And this is world-class tennis. Perfect serve. Doesn't go for too much on that forehand. Point by Stozer now is 40 love. And this is the perfect response from Stozer after having another couple of match points, losing that last game, coming back and getting up 40 love on your serve, playing a very clean game here. spoken just a little too soon. Tried for a little too much on that second serve kick. Both players at five double faults for the match. And she follows it up with her sixth ace. She leads 6-5. See what Petrova's got for her as this match gets closer to its conclusion. Dozer had a 5-2 lead in the first set but had to go to the tie break to win that first set. And uh, Petrova coming back in the second.
Stoser staying solid now. And you mentioned she got up 5-2 in the first set. I believe she was up 5-3 in that second set as well, Stoser. And she has just brushed it off. She's had a short memory. And that's what's been most impressive about her tonight. And the two match points that she squandered on the last Petrova service game, bouncing right back and holding it love. is a great start for Stoser in trying to break Petrova. Get the first two points of the game. It puts a lot more pressure now on the Russian. Stoser now two points from the match. Excellent play from Petrova. Stoser wasn't giving up much in that point. Petrova working the court side to side. Trying to follow that last shot in. Forced Stoser to try to go for a little more than she was comfortable with. Raising her level to respond from Love 30 to 30 all. And neither player giving up much here. The difference between these two is so small. Who is going to be just aggressive enough to close out this match? Are getting another opportunity. A fifth match point. And the crowd sensing this moment after over three hours of play. Stozer on her fifth match point emerges victorious and a survival of the fittest here at Armstrong Stadium tonight 7-6, 6-7, 7-5.